and my husband. We have all the safety equipment. Masks. Sanitizer and, and wipes. Sanitizer, wipes. Margo's even got a mask. <laughs> so yeah, we're really excited. We're gonna go to how many different places? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six different places. Six different places. So stay tuned. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>
some Sour Patch Kids. Right. Saddle up your horses. We got a trail to blaze. <laughs> just got to Boise, Idaho. Boise. And we're here at the park. It's a beautiful park. And we're we're exercising our dog Margo. Um this is something we have to make a priority because we have to do this twice a day. We have to do it twice a day cuz she's been in the car for 5 hours. She's been sleeping and it's super cute. I said, "Get ready because we're about to have a kid and we have to plan." Ooh. Ooh. You have to plan your life around your kid. We have to do stuff that, you know, we don't necessarily want to do for Margo. I don't want to do it. So, but um, actually, I feel like every time we get out in nature with Margo, she, whatever we're doing with her also invigorates us and brings us life and peace. We're gonna hike up this hill at the park, see what's up at the top. Margo, where'd you put your ball? We made it to the top. <laughs> Margo made it. Without even trying. Let me show you guys the view. Downtown Boise. And there's the park. Down there. Stairs. And then over here, it's really kind of just neighborhoods. This is our Airbnb in Boise. I'll show you around. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi, baby. She's already at home. Do you want to give us a tour, babe? Um, sure. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. Got a little fridge with some teas and all the amenities. Here's the study. This is where we do all of our studying. We <laughs> have Margo's bag. And we think about Margo here. The dining room. <laughs> we More of our stuff. <laughs> this is our beautiful walk-in bathroom. Complete with fan and a sink. We have two balconies. One off of the off east of Margo's side. Margo's room. Of Margo's room. That's a cute balcony. This is the northern balcony. Here's the bedroom. Cute. And our balcony back here. So this is our Airbnb. <laughs> after we've been in it for a little bit. Like an hour? Yeah, for an hour. We've trashed it already. <laughs> but it's pretty cute. So we're in Boise. We're about to head over to Montana, immigrant Montana, but we stopped at this dog park first and it's the coolest dog park. It's called Dog Island. And you literally cross this bridge and it's just an aisle of dogs, just like the Wes Anderson movie. <laughs> so we're gonna let Margo do some exercising out here before we get on the road. Where are we at? In Twin Falls. Look at this view. Hello. Here we are in Idaho Falls. It's beautiful. That's a nice river. A nice bridge. That's a nice lady. <laughs> now we're going to Idaho Falls. Oh, we can't miss the pickles. 
Oh, put those pickles on. We just got to Yellowstone and we stopped at this park for dinner, which is sandwiches and a salad, a bag salad. Margo's eating. And there's a really pretty storm system blown over at the sun. Still got two more hours to drive till we get to Immigrant, which is our next stop. Do you like our new spot, Margo? It's cute. Cool. It's pretty fabulous. Pretty fabulous. We love the view of the gas our station. Favorite gas station chain, Sinclair. It's our favorite gas station chain. <laughs> it's got the dinosaur. He's so cute. I mean, if you eliminate that, boop, the rest is pretty beautiful. <laughs> First day here in Montana. Yeehaw. Happy America. Happy 4th of July. Hmm. Jason made some coffee on his pocket rocket. A pocket rocket. Yeah. And then today, what are we going to do? Go get a haircut for me. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to probably find a little river. A little out. crick. I'm looking for a crick. Crick. And then um, I think tomorrow we're going to go do Yellowstone properly. Grrr. And uh, check out all the therm geothermal activities. Howdy. So we just got to this river and Jason wanted to go fishing really bad. So he's out there fishing, but it is like really, really bad with mosquitoes and we didn't bring any bug repellent because we didn't know. So I'm improvising and I have this tea tree oil here, this Melaleuca tea tree oil that I use for a variety of different things, but we mixed it with our sunscreen and spread it all over our bodies to hopefully help keep the mosquitoes away. <laughs> Crossing my fingers, hoping that it works because, oh, I just got a bite. <sighs> but it's beautiful out here, love it. <laughs> all right, until next time. Oh yeah, we're in uh, Montana right now. Ready? Yay! You're kind of awkward, but you're doing it. Are you swimming for the first time? <laughs> Your first time swimming. Yes, you did. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> chilly Willy? <laughs> this is the biggest bonfire I've ever seen. Margo, can you jump over? It's huge. Good morning. It is Sunday morning? Sunday morning, the day after uh, 4th of July and we are going to explore Yellowstone today. Jellystone. So we're gonna take Margo and drop her off at this uh, doggy boarding place here because 
yeah, dogs aren't allowed in a lot of places in Yellowstone, so we kind of just want to be able to do our thing and not have to worry about her. So it'll be her first time at a doggy daycare. It's kind of hard to let go and trust, <laughs> but hopefully uh, she'll have a good time. Mammoth Hot Springs. We've got to walk through it. Norse Geyser Basin, so pretty here. So we stopped here at some river randomly in Yellowstone so Jason could do some fishing. So this is Grand Prismatic. It's absolutely stunning. It's insane. And we're gonna go, there's a view of it from up there. We just picked Margo up at, from the dog park. <laughs> the dog kennel. Oh yeah, the dog kennel. Wow. This is a double rainbow right across the street. All the way. And it goes all the way up. And you can see where it ends on those two trees. I can literally see the pot of gold. We can see the pot of gold. It's those two trees right there. Buds. It's two guys. We're having a spa day. Yellowstone Lake. Stop for lunch. Marco, come here. Hi. Oh, hi. Yes, good girl. All right, so we have had a very interesting day. We're about halfway through our trip and we just uh, left our spot in Montana at the tiny town campground. It was really cute. And we kind of moseyed our way through Yellowstone and I don't know why, but somehow there was a couple nights on this trip that we like forgot to book. That I forgot to book. It's my bad. It's Jason me. forgot. But it's okay, um, but now it's kind of getting a little stressful because like one of the nights we forgot to book in Bend and we stayed at an Econo Lodge for hotels tonight, that was fine. But now we're like in Yellowstone Teton, Jackson Hole area, and we can't find anywhere to stay. Yeah. To camp. There's Jackson like Hole sucks basically. There's like no it's camping. It's so weird. I think everything is like first come first serve. And so we're heading out. Well, we were told that Jackson Hole was going to be awesome. And so we went there and Jason hates it. It's why do just you, like Tahoe. It's why like, do you hate it? It's like a worse Tahoe. What do you hate I about know, Tahoe? I hate about Tahoe that it's like, there's so many people. And like you go to Tahoe to like, be in the wilderness in the mountains, in the mountains. Yeah. but then you, you just feel like you're in Vegas and you're like <laughs> why am I here oh everyone here has like loads and loads of money and yeah 
We couldn't find a hotel here in Jackson for like less than three hundred dollars. Could not find a a super eight was not less than three hundred dollars. Five thirty now. We're gonna check out Alpine uh, Campground, which is forty five minutes away from Jackson Hole. Where we're staying. And we're staying in Alpine for the next two nights, but not this place. <sighs> We're hoping it's gonna be available. It's first come, first serve. And then if there's nothing available there, we're gonna to go to one other one. And then if there's nothing available there, we're gonna be like boondocking, I guess, which is when you just camp on the side of the road, right? Like yeah, just anywhere, like something. there's no- yeah, Like through the Bureau, the BLM Bureau of Land Management. The Bureau of Land Management. So there's no- it's like public land, but there's public no toilet land. or anything. There's no toilet. Um, which is fine. I can squat. <laughs> I've done it before multiple times on this trip. Kind of feeling like a little nervous about it, everything. So I'm just like crossing our fingers that we can find somewhere to stay tonight. Um, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Oh, relief. So we just found a random campground as we were driving that wasn't on Google Maps. And so they have three sites open and I'm really happy we're going to go get one six o'clock we'll set up our tent we'll make some dinner it's gonna be great life is not tried it is nearly survived if you're standing outside the bar standing outside where are we at Ben? oh no <laughs> we're in idaho and uh, there's this huge lake. It's kind I'm of like scaring all this cool baby fish. <laughs> it's kind of like impossible to get to this lake, and all of the areas to enter are super muddy and gross. <laughs> Hi. Did you go exploring? So this may or may not be where we're staying. So this is where we're staying. I'll show you a little tour. And here's the property. And this is our little cabin here. Let's go inside. It's called Moose Cabin. So my favorite part is this little swing out here. Cheers. Come inside. We already have our stuff out, so we're kind of all settled. There's bunk beds and a queen size bed. Extra blankets, a heater, and Jason is working right now. All right, so today, it's Wednesday. We rolled into the little cabin in Wyoming yesterday, and it was a little bit awkward to say the least. We we got there about a half an hour early and it's kind of a bummer because the lady was super frazzled and was like upset that we were a half an hour early and I didn't feel good about come showing up a half an hour before check-in but Jason said it should be fine and was like basically asked asked us to leave the property and and come back a half in a half an hour because like our room wasn't ready yet or something. That on top of there just being nothing to do in Alpine while we were waiting, because we got to Alpine like, oh my gosh, like three hours early. We had to kill three hours doing nothing. We wouldn't have mind having to kill three hours if we could have gone to the river or the lake, which is what we wanted to do. But this lake is legitimately inaccessible. Like really hard to get to like there's no shores anywhere and I think that's it's great if you have a boat or like a stand-up paddle board yeah if you have a boat or a watercraft it's fine and then I was so bummed because like the property was beautiful and the river was like right out there but literally we could not access it from where we were staying she was like yeah you can't access the river from here 
and like I feel like that was literally like that was like the whole point of why we wanted to go stay there is because in the pictures it showed our little river right the river was there and we just had these ideas that we were gonna just be like hanging at the river and for two days and relaxing and so that was honestly like the major bummer and then on top of that the mattress was really uncomfortable the bathroom was like in, it was like in an old shed and kind of like infested with spiders. The bathroom situation was like one step up from camping bathrooms, which I feel like I'd be fine if it was camping bathrooms if we were paying camping prices, but we weren't paying camping prices. So anyways, we kind of decided we were ready to get out of Alpine. Like we were supposed to stay two nights, but we were like, there's not anything to do here. Like, we can't go to the river or the lake, so let's just get out of here. We we lost our, you know, money that we spent on the second night. But the good news is that we ended up getting a room at the Hyatt with some Hyatt points that we had that we forgot about um, in Salt Lake City. So we're gonna go to Salt Lake City early, stay two nights there. For free. For free. With a nice shower. With a nice shower. <laughs> and a big bed that and Margo can snuggle us on. And a big bed. Yeah. So I'm hoping that Salt Lake City is fun yeah. and is not like a bust. So we just checked into our hotel, the Hyatt in downtown Salt Lake City. And we we're super happy to be here. We're happy to have a nice cool cozy place and we're gonna probably get some food and exercise Margo and have a good evening relaxing we're out here in the Salt Lake City wilderness oh yeah did a big hike but I didn't make it all the way to the lake because <laughs> it's like uphill you're pregnant you're very pregnant right now Two miles uphill? Two miles. That's hard. In the snow. We didn't bring enough water, so now we're just gonna go back. We didn't make it, we're gonna go back. What is this place? Oh my gosh. Chuck it heaven. We're out here. Bonneville Salt Fat Lats. Salt Fat Lats. <laughs> salt Fat Lats. <laughs> We're in the middle of a, a crystal ocean. Huh, babe? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Good. We're driving all the way to Reno from Salt Lake City. Reno. One day, so that's gonna be eight hours of driving. We're gonna try to stop at a thrift store. We'll see. A couple, maybe. right? Something in Elko, maybe? Battle Mountain. Yeah. But it's just gonna be mostly driving and reading to each other, listening to books. Yeah. And we have one night left on our trip. Mm. Sad. sad. Well, we are on our very, very last day of Ooh. our trip. <laughs> we are. Whoa. We are in Reno, Nevada, and <clears throat> I think we're about ready to go home, but. We're definitely gonna miss being on the road. Margo is, <laughs> I think she's ready to go home. It's been fun. We're gonna take Margo to the dog park right now. And um, yeah, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little vlog vacation video. And make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you like fashion content and heart to heart stuff. And remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye.